Hi Leo, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48 reading. It's going to tell what's going on with you for the next 48 hours and what's going on with homeboy, homegirl for the next 48 hours. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. If at any time this resonates with you or you just simply have a great time here with me today, please thumbs up the video. It helps me out a lot, Leo. Okay. It helps the video circulate, helps my channel grow, okay? I need all the support I can get, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys for doing so. Also, comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot, and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. It's late, baby, okay? I never, no, I'm lying. Am I lying? I think once or twice I've come and did late videos, but I have a lot on my mind, and I need to escape, so I'm going to read you guys the filth. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to have some fun with you guys and just read because um, I have too much shit going on in my life right now, and I feel like why not make sure that, you know, why not just make sure that I'm pushing out some videos because I would be in bed right now for work tomorrow, but um, I feel like let me just read you guys because I feel like I just don't want to think about what's in my head. All right. I have Aquarius in my chart, so we tend to overthink. Well, I'm not Aquarius, right? But I have Aquarius in my chart, so Aquarius, they think 24-7 is hard to not be in your head, and that's a problem I suffer with, okay? So anyway, Leo, we're going to get started with your read. All right, we're going to be doing your next um, 48 hours and... Keep in mind, this is a general reading. If you want a personal, all the information is down below. Also, I broke a nail, so I got to go on Sunday and get my nails done because I work hard, okay? I, do, I don't do prissy shit. Yeah, I got these prissy nails, but I don't do prissy shit, so forgive me if I come on here looking ratchet some days. You know, my pretty nail fell off, by the way, so I don't know what that's telling me, okay? <laughs> anyway, you guys were the first on my list. My list? I feel like I had a lisp. So one of you guys has a lisp but it's cute so don't be afraid of that but one of you guys have a list because i just said list i said list like that and it's like one of you one of you leos have a list okay the leo with the lisp okay but you're a cute leo because leos are bomb and they're sexy as fuck uh, okay mm -hmm. all right so first of all the the song claim for you to start off this reading is Houston Fornication. So first of all, <laughs> who's from Houston? First of all, who's watching my video? Who's from Houston? Second of all, who's fornicating? Leo, are you fornicating? And if you don't know what fornica fornication means, then you should not be watching my channel, okay? You need to click off. Log off, log off. This channel's not for you. But yeah, who's fornicating? What kind of forn fornication is going on? right now with you leo you having sex good sex at that really good sex okay leo all right so spirit tell me what's going on with leo for the next 40 hours what's going on with leo for the next 40 hours what's going on with leo for the next 40 hours what's going on with leo all right you have the temperance card oh okay could be dealing with the sagittarius could be dealing with the cancer you have the high priestess here and you have the five of wands wow okay so i just changed my card of the week my card of the week is oh i didn't <laughs> i didn't even write it up there but i wrote all the definitions down so you have the card of the week what is the card of the week it's the high priestess okay that's your energy for the next 48 hours leo so I just said that someone was having good sex, and that's like the first term up there. You can't see. Wait. You can't see up there, but good sex is, is in all capital letters up there, okay? So somebody's been having really good sex. You have your Leo card here, which is the five of wands. So you could be dealing with the Leo, or it's just simply your energy Leo. Um, but you, there's a lot of distractions going on in your life, so you need this good sex. <laughs> It's been helping you. You also have the temperance card here, which means that you could have a Sagittarius in your life that you've been thinking about. But um, I f I'm hearing sexual healing, baby. It's good to me. <laughs> Makes me feel so right. Okay? <laughs> Leo, are you getting sexual healing because shit is really chaotic in your life right now? Five of Wands? Okay, we'll see. So what's the temperance card for my Leos? What the fuck, Leo? What's the temperance card for my Leos? 
<laughs> What's this? <laughs> why am I? I'm laughing. You wanna know why I'm laughing? <laughs> I'm laughing because my mom is a Leo. Okay, so I'm like, girl. What is going on? All right, what's the temperance card for Leo? Please give me the temperance card for Leo. <laughs> all right. First of all, for temperance, we have the devil card. So this sex is devilishly good. It's devilishly good. Okay. Or you having some real, you're having some sex that you're going to remember. It's like a memory that's going to be instilled in your brain for a long time, Leo. You're like, this is some good fucking sex. Okay. <laughs> also have the Ace of Swords here too. So it's like someone told you the truth about something and now you guys been healing or the Sagittarius has been really, really honest with you lately. And you feel like that's part of, that's healing some part of y'all relationship. Yeah, you feel like that's a healing part of the relationship? Something like that. We don't know. All right, let's clarify these cards. <laughs> it's late, y'all. It's late and my mind is clouded with the sexual healing, okay? So what? that's all I can think about right now. What's the devil card here for Leos? Courage. <laughs> this is the strength card in Leo, right? So it's you, Leo? You're the one... <laughs> Leo, you're the one who's putting down that good P or D. You're the one who's giving that good sex to that person. You're the person <laughs> to the Sag. Ew. <laughs> I don't mean ill, but I'm just like, okay. Cause I, I was holding my mom is a Leo. All right, exhaustion card here for the Ace of Swords. So you've been telling the Sagittarius like I've been exhausted or the Sagittarius has been telling you I'm really tired and you're like... Ooh, if you're dating a Sagittarius, it's like this person told you, Leo, they were like, they were like, I'm so tired. I can't even have sex tonight. And you're like, bitch, you thought you was good. <laughs> Leo, you're like, you're looking at this person like, like with the crazy eyes, like, what you mean you too tired for sex? Okay. Or the Sagittarius have been telling you I've been really tired lately, right? If this is not about sex and you're just your mother mary and you just don't have sex and you're celibate um the devil card is here so it's like you've been having a really really tough time lately leo even if you are not mother mary even if you're not you know abstinent you still been having a tough time lately nobody knows this though just because you keep it to yourself leo because you've been trying to heal yourself courage card you've been trying to you've been trying to heal yourself you're not telling nobody that you're having a tough time nobody knows this not even your friends not your family not even your spouse knows this that you've been having a tough time lately all right what's the high priestess what's the high priestess here what is the high priestess here what is the high priestess doing here you could be dealing with the cancer all right, that one to flip out, but it didn't stay. The lovers. Yeah, this person, whoever you are in love with right now, Leo, you and that person are having great, 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 great. I'm hearing the, um, I'm hearing the Frosted Flakes Tiger. It's great. You know how, <laughs> I gotta move on because y'all got me fucked up. Give me one more card for the High Priestess, please. <laughs> ace of wands yeah this is some great sex even oh my god leo and a seven of wands so this person also you, you're trying to fight them off of you and that's what gets you guys aroused you're like get off of me don't and this person's like pinning you down okay let me stop but that's really what i'm seeing leo like my head is clouded with sex right now ew leo get a room all right what's the lover's card here what's the lover's card for the high priestess if you're a male, you're really obsessed with this woman. What did I just say? High priestess, again, lovers. If you're a male, you're really, really obsessed with this woman. Like, because of their fucking pussy. Excuse my language. Punani, you're really obsessed with this girl. And if you're a female, you're really obsessed with this guy. But this guy is really obsessed with you as well. Like, you really, really like him. But he really likes that thing between your legs suppression you try to hide it leo you try to hide how sexually attractive you are to this person what's ace of wands this is nasty leo we're supposed to be talking about your well-being you're like this is my well-being okay calm down then calm down. 
Leo, and then the person... Okay, Leo, you're not a hoe. You're out here having sex with the motherfucker that, you know, this tourist, okay? Or <laughs> this person. This is the Hierophant card, the nothingness card. Um, I have so many things going in my head. I'm sorry. I'm so distracted. All right, you're having sex with this tourist, or if it's not a tourist, it's the person that you're in a commitment with. Even if you guys aren't really together, y'all say y'all not together, but you and this person know that y'all are together. Also... When is <laughs> I could ask you, Leo, like, are you really gonna have sex with this person? And you're like, it's nothing. Like, I'll, I'll have sex with you'll have sex with this person at a drop of a dime. It doesn't matter. That's how attractive this person is to you. This person stresses you out as well, Leo. You have the stress card. This person stresses you out a ton, a ton, a ton. Is it is it because I'm doing this late? That's why this is so sexual. Like, <laughs> I didn't know this was demon hour. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> This is Seven of Wands. Why are you fighting this person? Hangman? Yes. This person is like pinning you, like pinning you. This person likes to pin you down or like choke you. I hope my mom doesn't watch this because I know all your business shoddy, okay? All right. You have the Five of Wands as well here, Leo. So you've been having a, a tough week. Ooh. Are you going to be having a tough time? So you really need this good sex to heal you. I feel like good sex heals you, Leo. That's what you like. You're really, like, you have high sexual, um, you have, like, um, I wrote it down. What is it here? Sexual tension. Your sexual tension is uncontrollable. You get really horny. You get really, really horny. And you really need some good P or some good D to calm you down because this week has been really bad. So what's the Leo? What's the, um, <laughs> I'm talking about what's the Leo. What is going on with Leo that has the five of wands? Sorry, guys. I'm so distracted by y'all sexual life right now. Y'all sex life right now. I said sexual life. <laughs> this is the five of wands. High priestess. I'm trying to be mature, but the sex card keeps coming out. High Priestess, good sex. So what's going to heal you from everything that you've been stressed out about is good sex. So even if you're a single Leo, but you have somebody who has like puts down that good thing, you might want to give them a call this week. What else for the five of wands? Queen of Cups. Yeah, you might want to reach out to this person and be flirty. You might want to actually open those legs, Queen of Cups, okay, or King of Cups. You might actually want to reach out to this person. You're going to have a rough... You've been having a rough time. What's going to help you is good sex. So even if it's like you already went through your rough time this week and you're like, man, I'm so stressed out, you need sex right now. I know that's not good advice because that's not, you know... That's not godly, but that's life, right? Sex is life, so <laughs> literally sex is life for you right now. Right, I'm cleaning this up. I'm getting off of this because I'm going to bed by myself, Leo, and you got me fucked up. Like, no, <laughs> we're not talking about this no more, okay? <laughs> we're definitely moving on now, okay? But thanks for the laugh, and you guys are definitely were the right choice to do first this night, okay? You guys were first. Of course, Leo's first, right? You guys are the kings and queens, of sex. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm sorry. I told you I'm childish now. Let's see what's going on with Leo's homeboy home girl. Okay? <laughs> because they in for a treat. What's going on with Leo's homeboy home girl? Whoever they're thinking about. Romantically shut up is playing right now. Yo, this person likes to take control of you in bed, Leo. They like to pin you down or they like to choke you. And this person's like, shut up. And you're like, Moo, don't stop. But you faking it though. You're like, stop, stop. You love it when this person does whatever. And you always like, stop, stop. But this person's like, shut up. And you're like, yes. Okay, anyway, what's what's going on with Leo's homeboy homegirl for the next 48 hours? Please, spirit, what's going on with <laughs> what's going on with Leo's homeboy homegirl? Listen, okay. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta fake it till you make it, huh, Leo? All right. The teacher. Y'all, you and this person like to role play, Leo? Ew, Leo, please. <sighs> I knew Leo. I knew it was a. Pro I knew it was wrong to do y'all's first. I knew it. All right, this this is definitely a Taurus. All right, you have the Aries, Taurus, and Capricorn um, energy here. This person likes to take control of you. Why is this a sex based reading? 
I want to know what's going on in the next 48 hours. I guess you're getting... I guess you're getting for the next 48 hours. All right. <laughs> I guess that's what's happening. That's not bad. Okay, that's a good way. <laughs> that's a great way to spend the next 40 hours, okay? Yeah, the teacher here. This could be Aries you're dealing with, Leo. But what's the teacher for your person? Why does your person feel like the teacher? Let me, let me concentrate. King of Cups in reverse. Ooh, you really intimidate this person. You re Okay, give me one more card. What's the teacher? You really intimidate this person? Three of Cups? All right, what I'm getting is that you really intimidate this person. They're the King of Cups in reverse. This person doesn't know how to be emotional with you, but they show all their emotions through SEX, right? Also, it's like after this person comes home or drinks, after they drink, they get really, really controlling or really... They get really demanding. They're like the emperor, right? This person likes to take control after they get drunk. So after this person drinks, it's on and popping, Leo. As long as you get a little bit of liquor in this person's system, they be on and popping. They like to take the lead, okay? What's the King of Cups in reverse? Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Cancerian, or a Piscean. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, and you have the Trust card just came out too. All right, the Trust card is giving me that when this person takes control of you, it kind of scares you a little bit too, Leo. Like, not gonna flex, this kind of makes you nervous, but you like that it scares you. Are you into dominatrix kind of shit? Like, who's the sub and who's the dom? Leo, let me find out. All right, you also have the queen of pentacles here. I feel like you're the dom. In the sexual relationship, Leo, if you're the female, okay, whoever the female is in the equation, whether, okay, Leo, I might be talking to male Leo, or I might be talking to female Leo. Whoever the female is in the equation, they're the ones who run the shit in bed. What's the three of cups? Judgment card beyond illusion. Yeah, when you and this person, when you and this your your person go out, it's like people always think like, oh, that's the man of the relationship. That's, you know, or people think like, you know, the man is talking big shit, whatever. You let the, him look like them. If you're a female Leo, you like your, your spouse or your person look like the macho man in public. But when it gets behind closed doors, okay, they better say yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> I gotta move on because Leo, I don't know. I really want to end your reading right now because y'all got me fucked up. I told you my mom is a Leo, bitch. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> this is Seven of Pentacles. Could be a Tauren you're dealing with. Temperance card. You could really be dealing with the Sagittarius as well. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Okay, first of all, Leo, if you're a female, if you don't get what you want, Leo, all hell breaks loose here with the Queen of Swords. You like things a certain way. You work hard for your money as well, so you don't need nothing from nobody. But if your spouse does not get what you like, you like also, Leo, you're bad at communication, okay? I'm sorry to say that. Or your person is. It's like your person either expects, okay, this is your person's energy, yeah, so the, your person could be bad at communications, like they expect you to read their mind. Or Leo, this could be you, because I said it was you firsthand. So, you know, for some Leos out there, this is you. For some, and then for majority, it's not you. But whoever I'm speaking to in the relationship, whether it be you or your person, someone's really bad at communication. They just expect it to just be there. So, like, Leo, you could be looking at me right now. Like, say you're craving, like, um, say you're craving, um, looking like ice cream right and you're looking at me and i'm looking at you leo right and i know i'm about to get that punani or that d later right but you're just looking at me and you expect me to just read your mind for some reason or your person could be this way right and if they don't get what they want they turn bitchy so this could be you leo or your person could be this way like if you don't see what the seven of pentacles exactly what they see if you can't just read their mind they get really upset because they feel like you should know them by now or you feel like your person should know you by now. Yeah, because you do this with this person, Leo. Either you do this with this person, because this is a temperance card. So it's like, either you know this person, they don't have to say nothing to you. You know exactly what they want every time. Or you try to do that, and you want the same out of your person. Or 
I feel like your person also, um, they do that with you and then they expect the same out of you. So it's like, I don't know. What's the temperance card here? This could also be a Sagittarius that I'm talking about. The breakthrough card, a Libra as well. So you have the justice card. So it's like somebody's trying to make things right with you here too. After they disappoint you, the Ten of Cups for the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. I'm your queen and I, I can do for myself. But when I ask you for my shit, you better come through with it. The Ten of Cups. You better give me everything I ask for. The Queen of Swords. That could be your person. The Miser as well. This person's very selfish too. And if they don't get what they want, they turn bitchy. Yeah, all hell breaks loose if this person doesn't get what they want. So I don't know if that's you, Leo, or your person. I'm I'm gearing towards your person, though, because this is their energy. We have the Four of Pentacles here as well. Four of Pentacles here could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. What's the Four of Pentacles? Why are they taking control? Your person likes control. Will of Fortune. Sagittarius definitely you could be dealing with here. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles and Taurus energy again. All right, so your person invested a lot in a relationship, and it's... Or they see that you invest... Wait, hold on. I don't know. This is like back and forth, Leo, because... What's the Will of Fort... No, sorry. What's the Seven of Pentacles first? Let me see. It's like either you invested a lot in this relationship. That's why you assert so much control, Leo. Or your person invested a lot in the relationship. That's why they assert so much control. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Because you... Yeah, the Five of Pentacles... Okay, the reason you or this per you, Leo, or your person does it, because I'm getting mixed energy. It's like because y'all don't want to be spited. You don't want to be left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles here. You you invested too much to be to feel like this, to feel like you're just you can't you invested so much in a relationship, you don't want to feel like you can enjoy it. That's why you don't want nobody to hold back from you as well. You don't want nobody to to keep you um like close off on you you're like i invested a lot so what i say goes and you're scared of that that could have happened to you in the past leo or your person it's like your person could have went through something in the past where they put their all in a relationship and um they didn't get to reap the benefits so so either you if you feel this way leo or your person feels this way they are very controlling in the relationship with the will of fortune Thunderbolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tower moment. So y'all, so your person went through something in the past where if they don't have complete control of the relationship, they don't even want it. Will of Fortune. But you're, but, but they're, um, I also feel like this Sagittarius or it could be you, Leo, or your person. So it could be you or the Sagittarius or your person. They do this, but they have good intentions with the Will of Fortune. What else was for the Will of Fortune before I, we end the reading? Suppression. Yeah, they will never tell you about this. This person will never tell you about what they went through in the past that makes them this way. They're actually still healing. That's why they still are so controlling. This person is very, very controlling because they're still healing from what they went through in the past. They don't want to be this controlling to you, but they can't help it. It's in their nature. But I also feel like this person feels like you got good P or D. Like that should... And I feel like, Leo, don't worry so much about what this person... Like, just enjoy your good sex. You know, don't make it a big deal. I mean, you're gonna... This person is healing, so that means that they're not trying to stay in that same energy. And they know that it's bad. They think about it, okay? Just enjoy your good sex that's just coming to you. So, Leo, this has been fun. Yeah. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated, please like the video. All right, comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. If you want a personal, all the information is down below for you in the description box. Leo, this has been fun for sure. But enough watching this video. Go contact that person. Go spread them legs open or go get in that thing. Okay, I'm disgusting. But anyway, you know, go on have some fun because that shit is waiting for you, okay? It's literally hot and ready for you, okay? All right, Leo. I'll see y'all in the next video and I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.